Now, having done with the basic formulas, let us now look at uh, formatting this table. This table still looks a bit crude and uh, we can look at efficient ways of improving the visual appeal of this table. So first thing that we need to kind of learn here is how to format these numbers. These numbers are essentially monthly salaries, annual salaries, these are in dollars. Likewise, minimum, maximum, you know, can we represent this in a format of a table? So let me uh, take you to sheet three, where we will now discuss different kinds of number formats. There are basically three kinds of number formats, which we should really understand. The number formats are basically available within this box and uh, more information on number formats can be gauged by clicking on this additional dialog box which we will discuss in a minute. What we need to do here is to understand clearly how the concept of currency format works. There is a format of comma and uh, you must also understand percentage formats. So let us type 500 here and see how this currency format works. So let me clip on dollar sign here and uh, we see that there it has updated this number in two ways one is that there's a clearly visible dollar sign in front of 500 and the second one is that there are two decimal places which are available here the other way in which uh, we can include the dollar sign is that by clicking on this number right click go to format cells and you will find that this number can have different kinds of formats available the one which we may choose is the currency format and we can press OK. Now observe these two currency formats or the formats. You'll find that the dollar sign in the second case is closer to 500. However, the dollar sign in the first case is far off. This is primarily because the first one actually uses the accounting format. So you, if you go on the top, you'll find that this is accounting format. You can also right click and go to format cells and you may find that this is an accounting format with two decimal places. So ideally people may like to choose the second format if they're not using it for accounting purposes. So we can go and choose the currency format here. So this is how you know the currency format may work. Also if you may like to increase the decimals or decrease the decimals you can do that by increasing the decimal here by clicking here or maybe by reducing the decimals by clicking on the right hand side. So this is how you know you can play with the currency format. The other set of format is basically related to the comma format. So let me type some random number here. Now if you observe this number very closely, this is very difficult to really gauge what this number actually is, how many digits it contains. However, when you look at let's say a comma format, Comma format essentially means just click here and it converts the overall cell or the number into a similar currency format but without the dollar sign. So what we can see here is that there are commas in between. That's why it is called as comma style with two decimal places and you can increase or decrease uh, these decimal places depending on what exactly the format you require. So here the readability improves by including the comma format. The third format which you must make yourself quite aware of and uh, I must warn that majority of the mistakes in terms of formatting and otherwise actually takes place in the percentage case. Say for example if we type 5. Now if we convert this into percentage what happens here is this comes out to be 500 percent. Now what is this implying? So let us try to type 10 percent. So the moment I write 10 here this is basically a number and if I wish to convert this into percentage we can go back to the dialog box and click on percentage. But what we find is that instead of 10 percent it gets converted into 1000 percentage. This is where the problem lies. The Microsoft Excel actually implies that if you use a number which is 1, this is basically equal to 100% and if you actually want to type 10%, you need to include this number 0 
and then convert into percentage which will mean it is 10 percent however if you want to still change the original number you can go back and remove the set of zeros and type it the other way to write percentages just type 10 with a percentage sign so you're not using the menu command from the top but you're writing it uh, like a text and it gets automatically by default visualized as 10% so this is how you know you can take care of the number formats now let us go back to our sheet 1 where we were discussing the case study and let us try to format the numbers which are given here so monthly salary what we find is in dollars and let's say we want to have dollar signs in front of all of these the way we can do it is we can right click again and go to format cells and uh, choose currency formats and uh, two decimal places should be okay and uh, we can press ok so this is where you know the first cell gets converted into currency format now what happens when we want to convert the other set of cells the, the way we can do it is we can choose all cells at once you can right click you can press format cells go to currency and you can choose all of them one point which uh, you must notice that since we were using dollar signs if you wish to use some other signs let's say you were working with pounds you can find different kinds of uh, currencies which are available beyond the regular currencies here so you can choose any currency which you want and uh, the most frequent ones are essentially available on the top however now let's say you want to include the dollar signs in the remaining monthly salaries what you can do is you can select this column at once and right click and go to format cells again and choose currencies and press OK so this is one kind of approach by which you can convert your regular numbers into currency formats there is a very simple approach as well which you can utilize in order to ensure that you can save time on the left hand top corner you may see this is format painter let's see what it says copy formatting from one place and apply it to the other place so let's click on it once and what happens is when we click on it once you will see that along with the cursor there's a paint brush you just need to select the range on which you want to apply this format and release that range so what you will note is that all the formats which were in dollar two five zero zero gets applied in the range which was selected likewise let's say if I want to apply the same range here across the total salaries maximum salaries minimum salaries and average salaries I can do the same thing here let's go back to two five zero zero dollar cell go to format painter I can choose this rows and columns and just release it and you will find that all the columns and the rows get converted into the formats which you really want so as we have seen this is a kind of a number format which we have used